Well, hello everyone. Today I'm going to attach a review of some wire shelving, two specific brands bought on Amazon. They're similar. I did find some differences in them. I was, one I wasn't really expecting, but it'll show up for you. The other thing was because they're different purposes, they're slightly different units. And if you're looking at just kind of general purpose wire shelves on Amazon, there's a whole bunch of them and for different prices and for, and for the whatnot. So let's get started with this. If you've never put together a metro style wire shelf they're not real hard they don't take a lot of uh, tools whatever you'll end up with uh, two of these little guys per uh, shelf pole and see it says up there in case you're not smart enough to figure out let me get it there it goes it says top in case you're not smart enough to figure out what the top is and they're just a little plastic it's tapered so that it so that the shelf fits down nice and tight, but it has a little ring in there. I, yeah, that's showing up pretty good. It's got that little ring, and you just put the you just find the particular ring on the the tube leg that you want, and then you just put snap the two pieces together, and then you put your shelf on from the top, and it works pretty well. Not real complicated. Doesn't take a lot. Some shelving units are better than others. Some will actually have a number or up the up the line, and they'll be stamped like maybe 5, 10, 15, 20, and you can, using your advanced addition and subtraction, go one ring below or two rings below or one ring above or two rings above above that number. And so it just helps you keep your, your number, your shelf in the right spot, not wumpy jaw. These were not like that. They were a little cheaper than that. They didn't have that stamping done on it. They just had a little extra little ring. So ever so often there was one that had two little rings and I used those to, to measure up. Did the same thing. It just didn't have a number on it. I think they both came with a little tool because they both had casters options. They came with a little screw feet, which is pretty close to nothing that you're going to get. It's almost like a thumb screw, like a quarter 20 thumb screw. I don't know if that's the size of it, but it looks about like a quarter 20 thumb screw and you just would uh, screw that in there or unscrew it and put the caster in and I, I seem like I remember that's what this was for was to kind of get that caster from wanting to unscrew from the bottom section both of them had two legs for easy transport so they had two legs per side in other words they stacked tube and they screwed in the middle just to keep the two the tube from being longer than the shelf and keeping the package size down pretty well much as far as that goes that's it so let's go ahead and and hit the video and we'll see if there's anything in it that um, was useful to you that maybe you didn't think when you look at the descriptions I'll put up I'll flash up somewhere in in this the Amazon screenshots so that you can see some text and, and the ac actual models and sizes and see that I did buy them all right let's get started with that if you like this content please go to call find the tab that says on YouTube click it and it'll open up a page of QR codes there you can use a smartphone to scan and get to the YouTube page or you can just mouse over and click it on a PC there you'll be able to subscribe to this little button over here and click the notification bell so that YouTube will notify you thank you going to do a review of two metro style wire shelves unit uh, going to use the two different brands needed one that was of course a little wider and then needed one a little bit narrower to go behind the door one i think 18 one of course is 24. they're good, good they're good to do a contrast and compare in this case they each have some strengths and some weaknesses we'll go over both of them one brand is this one right here, Pusair, I don't know what that says, and the other one looks like Seville. Now, in the this version, this Pusair, I don't know how you say that, we do look like we have a, a true chrome, like it may be copper uh, plated most time. Uh, see, chrome doesn't want to stick to steel very well, so we normally do a, a copper undercoat, plate it with copper, then put the chrome on top. I have no idea how these are made. These do have some little plastic sheets in here. They do help. However, if we look, there is no center beam in these. These shells are a little bit weak and floppy. They're not a particularly uh, heavy gauge rod, but again, they're not very expensive compared to uh, true USA type of Metro shells, which may in fact be made in China the components. I don't know. But it's not a bad shelving unit. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Has a good height to it. It's a good general purpose storage unit. I have some stuff up there. The plastic does help 
keep things from falling through the hole. They're very easy to put together with this. There are two tube models. Uh, instead of a long tube, it's actually two short tubes with a screw together connector somewhere in the middle. This one was a little bit better in the way that it went together. This brand, not as good in my opinion, simply because it had a threaded insert that you had to put in and it had about two thirds in the top and one third in the bottom. It is adequate. It does tighten up enough, but there's not that much thread engagement in the bottom. There also, if you will notice a difference in chrome, this, this may be considered chrome, but it's not a very good chrome in my opinion. It doesn't appear to have the backing. See how that's a little bit darker? The chrome plating process, I don't know. Um, it is a little shiny, but it also looks like it may not have a copper undercoat to it, so I don't know how well it lasts. The good part with this is, this is advertised as having a center beam, and that makes a lot of strength in the shelf unit itself. It doesn't come with plastic, which is good because you're going to have air flowing through on this rack, and I need that for that purpose. Had it come with the plastic, I just wouldn't have used it. The casters in both case work, so you can roll them out of the way. But you can definitely see a little bit of difference in the manufacture of these two different units. You make your choice which one you want. This one has fewer shelves as I remember. It's made basically for bigger boxes, obviously. And you just don't need as many shelves. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. A little shorter, not much. But that gives a little bit more head space up there. Had the tubes been a little longer, I could have had the choice to get them even up top. Don't really need it per se. Again, normally when you have a, a narrower shelf, you often need, depending on what you're going to store on it, you're going to need more shelves uh, space closer together. If I put this one together the way I did at the given spots, it does give a little bit different spacing. I could have obviously spaced it more evenly, but I thought you know, while I'm putting it together, i would go ahead and use the uneven spacing for different size devices and boxes and whatnot that's going on it the big one probably just going to be used for a specific thing for which i want air to flow through it it'll work for that purpose it's just uh chrome's not looking as good on it it is stronger i think with the center rail so when you look at the description and compare different people's different brands on amazon where these came from you'll know to look for whether or not or notice whether or not it has a center rail for strength and notice whether or not it says it's galvanized or coated, green coated, black coated, that type of thing versus chrome. So did you notice on the 24 inch wide shelves, the one that had the third truss in it, third beam, whatever you want to call it, wasn't in the center. There's actually like four wires on that shelf, that width, and one of them has been replaced by the truss. And so it makes it actually the way I have it set up. It's stronger in the back than in the front. I don't know if you have a preference for that, but just, just notice that in there. I figure I'll have more things shoved to the back than sticking out toward the front, but I may have to reverse it. And the only difference between the front and the back on this one is which two uh, casters have the brakes on them, which I have the ones that will be out toward me will be the ones that have the brake on them. So that's the only difference between the front and the back with those two things. So that's it. Appreciate you watching. Mm -hmm.